Hi, my name is Alec. I'm a member of the technical team at Quail Fire. Today, I'm going to give a product overview over the QWR Fire Collar. What the uh, QWR Fire Collar is, is a metal encasement which has um, fixing lugs, a number of fixing lugs on it, and held with inside is our intramescent. And I'm going to discuss the intramescent a little bit more. As you can see from the table, we offer a variety of different sizes, starting from as low as the QWR 25, which is used for 25 mil plastic pipes, all the way up to a QWR 160 for 160 mil plastic pipes. One of the unique features with the QWR is that it's rated Type X durability. I'm not going to discuss what durability means, but what Type X means is it can be used um, exposed to weathering. If you go to our website and the description, uh, the link will be in the description below, you can visit our uh, terminology in the glossary section and read up on what durability means. Some of the other features is how we've uh, tested this. So if we go across to some of our demo boards, we can see how it works. So just here, we have the QWR fixed to uh, around some plastic pipes. It's been tested on both flexible and rigid walls. Flexible walls can be either a single skin plasterboard wall or a double skin plasterboard wall. And for rigid walls, it's blockwork or concrete. What you need to be aware of is the fixing type that um, is used. So make sure you check our tested details for the different substrates it's fixed to. If earlier on I mentioned about the intermescent that's within inside the collar, what will happen is as the fire um, affects the pipe, begins to soften it and melts, the intermescent will react with heat and start to expand. And as the pipe melts away, leaving a void, you'll see here, and you can zoom in, the intermescent will fully expand to close up the void. So these solutions here are what's called direct to wall seals. And typically you will have a fire collar on both sides of the wall, but sometimes you may have what's called an oversized hole. So we do have some other solutions. So if we just go across to this board here, you will see that we have tested our QWR fire collar on our quail stop fire bat. We've done this on single bat, double bat, and what's called patris where the fire bat is face fixed to the wall. And it's simply held in place using pigtail screws inside all of the uh, fixings. We've not only just tested it on walls, we have also tested on floors. So we have direct to floor details. We have one fire collar on the underside. If you have an oversized hole, you could utilize it with our QF2 fire protection compound, such as an example here. And you can see that the QWR fire collar is fixed to the underside. And then we have some unique substrate features, such as the profile deck, where you would fix some quail stop fire bat on the underside and then fix the uh, fire collar to the fire bat and quite uniquely is we've tested on both a single skin plasterboard ceiling and a double skin plasterboard ceiling on timber joists so if you need any information on anything about the QWR from the product itself to our tested solutions please visit our website or please contact us by telephone or email thank you very much